All right, Dad, if turbochargers use exhaust to boost power, how do superchargers do it? And why do they feel so much more instant? Good catch, Steve. Superchargers do the same core job, compressing air to cram more oxygen into the cylinders. But unlike turbos, they're mechanically driven, usually by a belt connected directly to the engine's crankshaft. So no waiting for exhaust pressure to build up? Exactly. That's why superchargers have virtually zero lag. They start boosting the moment the engine spins, making them ideal for applications where throttle response is critical, like drag racing or aircraft engines. But that must use up some of the engine's own power, right? Yep, that's the trade-off. A supercharger might eat 20 to 30 horsepower just to spin itself, but if it adds 100 or more, the net gain is still big. Are there different types? Definitely. The two main ones are roots type and centrifugal. Roots blowers move massive air at low RPMs. Great for torque. Centrifugal superchargers behave more like turbos. They build boost gradually with RPM. So why don't all cars use them? Superchargers are simpler and instant, but less efficient. Turbos recycle energy. That's why you'll find superchargers more in performance or specialized vehicles, while turbos dominate in fuel-efficient designs. So superchargers are about feel, raw, immediate power? Exactly. When you want your engine to respond like it's got a rocket strapped to it, that's when you go supercharged.